Salam everyone, welcome to my channel Darren Blog. I had another question for Sheikh Imran Nazar Hussain. Uh, let me mention a hadith first. Um, this hadith is in Sahih Bukhari, book number 4, volume 53, hadith 401. Prophet ﷺ said, Count six signs that indicate the approach of the hour. My death, the conquest of Jerusalem, a plague that will afflict you and kill you in great numbers, as the plague that afflicts sheep. The increase of wealth of such an extent that every that even if one is given one hundred dinars, he will not be satisfied. Then an affliction which no Arab has will escape. And the sixth sign is, and then a truce between you and Bani al-Asfar, the, the Byzantines, who will betray you and attack you under 80 flags. Under each flag will be 12,000 soldiers. So basically my question was regarding this betrayal. As we know... Um, Byzantines were room and room is obviously um, Russia as the Sheikh said so my question was which room is Russia are they going to betray the Muslims because in another narration of a hadith it is said that it is said that um, the peace treaty will be broken because of, this, of a small argument between Christian and Muslim soldiers and the Christians will join forces with the Jews to fight the Muslims. So this is kind of confusing because there has already been a betrayal as we know because when um, back in the 80s the US helped <coughs> Afghanistan defeat the Soviets then they turned their back on Afghanistan and unleashed the so-called war on terror. Some say this may have been the fulfillment of the hadith of the betrayal of Rum. So I just wanted to know what his opinion was on this situation because has this hadith already been fulfilled with what happened between the, U with the US and Afghanistan, the war on terror? Or... Is this something new that is going to um, happen between um, Russia and the Muslims? Back in the 80s, US helped Afghanistan defeat the Soviets. Then they turned their back on Afghanistan and unleashed the so-called war on terror. Some say this may have been the fulfillment of the hadith of the betrayal of Rome. What is your opinion? I don't know what is the betrayal of Rome. I know there is a hadith that uh, uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> some Rome will land in the north of Syria and uh, this is a Rome against whom we'll have to fight. But in the Quran there is another Rome and you have to be careful when you deal with the subject of Rome because in the Quran there is a Rome who is who is blessed by Allah to defeat the Persians. And when that victory of Rome took, takes place, then we, the Muslims, will celebrate, says the Quran. But then the Quran goes on to say that part of Rome abandoned the law. And when they abandoned the law, then Allah cursed them. And he said, Kunu kiradatan khasim. So there is one part of Rome which in the Quran 
is still a people blessed by Allah and another part of room which in the Quran are people cursed by Allah. Is that clear? Is that clear? They're not the same. A room which is blessed by Allah and a room which is cursed by Allah. Our primary source of knowledge is always the Quran. And this has come from the Quran. So those who come, the, when room lands in the north of Syria and we have to fight that room, can it be the room that is blessed by Allah? Or would it be the room which is cursed by Allah? Ah, don't think that any people other than those who still have peanuts in their heads would ever recognize that the room which is blessed by Allah would be a room that we'll have to fight against. The ones who are cursed by Allah are the ones who will most likely betray us, yes.